Hello everyone. Today we're going to look into Twitter API uh, using Postman. So basically we're going to use Postman to inquire Twitter database uh, using Postman, I guess, uh, long and short of it. Anyway, Postman is free. It's a, it's a free app, really good app. I like it a lot. Um, you can go in here, just Google it, download Postman, hit download and then uh, follow the installation instruction and 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 once once that's done you'll have an application that looks something like that yeah so it looks something like that i i do have some projects on the side that's why i do have collections and all this extra tab on the top so just ignore them for now so you basically be greeted with this blank screen right so um, i'm gonna leave postman here so the second thing that you need uh, for the this twitter slash postman api running is of course the twitter account if you don't have you should get one and then uh, once you get that you go to your google and type developer twitter.com right uh, first thing that you need would be uh, an app so you go go click your name an app right and then you create an app in here say create an app and then you give it a name I don't know you want to call it uh, uh, little drama boy or something then uh, over here you have to write a bit of description between uh, between 10 to 200 characters you can't leave it blank because it's required so this is a demo for our fellow YouTubers. 10 characters, right? Over here, you can write your corporate or whatever URL you have for your web pages. Uh, you don't really need callback for now. Uh, terms of services, you don't need policy, you don't need organization, you don't need. If you have it, great. If you don't, uh, you, uh, same thing for terms and use, you don't need it. Uh, the other thing that you need would be uh, tell us how you're going to use it, right? So I'm just going to type some uh, uh, verbiage in there. I'm not too sure what the number of character is, but you can't have blank or really short text. So I'm saying I'm trying to learn and discover Twitter API and how it can be used to acquire data using twitter api something like that so once you hit create we give you some developer terms and agreements right and hit create again and if it's successful you'll be greeted with this uh, green icon here so over here they tell you a bit about, about your app uh, okay so um so the things that you need from from this is uh, keys and token so uh, I have API keys, API secret, right? Um, so, and then you hit generate, you'll generate uh, two more access token and uh, uh, access token secret, right? Um, so you have four of them. For our intents and purpose today, I'm just gonna use uh, API key and API secret, right? For some reason, if, you, if your API key or any of this get compromised, one way to do is to nuke the uh, API, completely delete the AP, not API, the app, or you can actually regenerate and they'll give you a new code every time you regenerate. I don't think there's any limitation, but you have to regenerate. So once you regenerate that, you know, you're gonna have to revoke this guy and regenerate, right? So uh, you should get your own API key and uh, API secret guys. Like uh, there's no point copying mine because once I'm done with this YouTube, I'm gonna erase this app, so um, there's no point copying. But anyway, anyway, for our intents and purpose, I'm gonna hit regenerate again. So um, in order to inquire and do things that we want, again, we need this API key and API secret. So before we do that, let's uh, let's dive into the uh, 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 Twitter API document. Uh, so I'm gonna go developer twitter.com, right? And if you scroll all the way down. Oops, you scroll all the way down. Uh, depending on when you are looking at it, uh, right now in 2020, 
I'm looking at this guy here. So if you go to go to documents here, right at the bottom of the page, and you go accounts and users, um, and let's say we wanna we wanna go and look for somebody's followers, right? So you go follow search. Okay, so um, let's do uh, let's do followers. I think that's a good thing. Uh, see who's stalking who, right? So get followers. So uh, you need a URL. You go API reference here, and then followers list. So basically, what we're trying to do is that uh, let's say uh, famous people like Elon Musk or uh, or let's say for Donald Trump, I guess. So Donald Trump uh, uh, followers. You want to get all the list of followers and see who's following him and whatnot. So if you look at it here, this is your URL, URL to actually uh, query for followers. So if you look at it further a bit, a few things that you have to know is that the, the feedback that you get is JSON um, format and uh, you do require uh, authentication, which I'll show you here shortly how to get that. And rate of limit is applied, yes. So um, another thing that you want to know is that the uh, you are only allowed 15 requests every 15 minutes, right? So uh, 60, I would say 60 requests per hour kind of thing. Um, so I, I'm not too sure how they calculate, but we'll hit those request button a couple of times today and see how she pans out. And then uh, you can also put some uh, parameters in it, right? Screen name, uh, this is what we'll, we'll, we'll be using. And the cursor will be like page numbering, right? Every page that you look at it. And the rest of them are a bit, we're not you're gonna use it. So if you look at this guy here, this is the this is this is the URL I'll be using, but if you eyeball from here to here, it's basically this guy here, right? And anything behind that is your parameters that, that you're using. Like for example, the word cursor is from oh it's not really shown here, but the screen name is from here, right? And skip state is here oh cursor is here sorry cursor is here and include user entities is here so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go here and select everything in here copy and I'll show you what the effect is right on on uh, on postman so you're gonna take this and you're gonna paste it here control V right and then uh, who we following today so if you go to Twitter into my company say and then uh, Donald Trump this guy here so uh, the username will be this guy here real Donald Trump right click this guy here and then uh, screen name where you see the word screen name here you're going to change Twitter dev to control paste real Donald Trump I think that's his uh, that's his real uh, Twitter page, I think. But uh, uh, you can see that this one does not have any authorization at this point. So I'm just gonna hit uh, send. It will tell you that uh, your authentication failed, right? Uh, so you do need uh, authorization for this uh, query. So going back in here, um, so you need, uh, okay, this is how you get authorization for Twitter. If you go uh, here, right? So this is your API key and this is your secret. So I'm gonna go back here, developer Twitter, right? That's another command in Twitter to actually get the uh, authorization key. Go all the way down, go docs, right? Again, we're back to where we were. We were here just now, we did this, right? We don't want that. So we go basic. And if you go down this way, you see authentication here, click on it. And then we want auth to bearer token, click here. And then you go using bearer token here, right here, click this guy, and you go all the way down. They will show you how you can actually get your authentication, right? But they're using a curl command, so we can use that too, no problem at all. So, um, so you're gonna copy all these guys here copy 
and then we're going to superimpose our API key and API secret here, right? So, um, so in, in order to run curl, you can definitely run curl in Postman. That's the beauty of it. So the way to run curl will be you go import raw text, right click here, and you paste it. Let's get our API key and secret. So if you go back here, oops, back here. So this is our little drummer boy, right? Uh, so, so we go in here. Copy this guy. That's your API key. Just keep in mind, sometimes they like to put a carriage return, but this one didn't. Um, copy this guy here. And then go in here. And paste it. So that's how you do it. Grant, token, all that jazz. So you hit continue. Import. So now if you run this, you can see uh, our original API is here with bad authentication. This is our new one. So hit send. So it gives you a, let me open up a bit bigger. It gives you a token type is bearer. And this is your access token. So you copy this guy here. And you go back to your uh, original Twitter that actually tell you about bad authentication, right? So you click on uh, header. Right. Yeah, and then uh, it's going to be called uh, authorization, U-T-H-O-R-I-Z-A-T-I-O-N, if I can spell it, authorization. And then you have to type the word bearer, B-E-A-R-E-R, -E -R, right? And you put a space and you paste your uh, authentication key, which you got it from here, just like that. So now if you were to hit uh, send now, it will actually tell you uh, all the uh, information that you have, right? You can actually see, if you go back to this guy here, and if you hit followers here, uh, he's got like 83 million followers, right? So every time you click on it, uh, there's people coming in and out, in and out, you'll see here, this is what I mean, you'll see like, for example, if I go followers and hit enter to refresh you see how the first few people changes on regular fly you know so there's no way in actually <laughs> verifying whether my script really worked or not right so um, yeah so you see how it is it's doing in circle right so if I hit send hopefully I can get something in, in similar to this one here so it's changing on the fly here quickly so let's look at the zombie boy uh, I, sh I should have it here Oh, and here you go. It's here. Prior to that was some kiki, right? This guy here. And then prior to that was screen name decori07 or what have you, and some Mandarin character after before that, right? So yeah, it is in JSON format, right? Uh, you can write programs to actually digest this and present it nicely on a uh, on a on a csv format so uh, uh i want to point out a few things here um like for example you can see some of them has quite a few friends and you can see some of them you saw the other day it don't even have a follower at all so it could be a bot that they're trying to run something like that right a follower account zero or maybe a brand new account i, I got no clue so anyway it's a data mine i guess for uh, analytics people who has got keen mind, right? And also, uh, another thing you can do is also and look at uh, what are the comments these guys are making, right? If you go back in here, you can actually read what uh, Donald Trump is saying and then run a sentiment code on Python. Maybe, maybe that's what I'll do in the next part. I guess uh, I'll take this and read all the sentiment, uh, read all the text that uh, was presented, and uh, maybe put some sentiment value to it right but anyway um, nevertheless uh, uh, one more thing to show I guess so I did promise to hit this a few times uh, send 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 to show you uh, how fast this thing changes and when it breaks right uh, because there is limitation according to this guy here uh, here you got 15 requests right so if I go in here and I hit send 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 you see how quickly this guy's all these changes. Send. Let's see. 
similar to what I did was doing over here, right? Oops, there you go. Similar to what I was doing, refreshing every time. F5, refresh, F5, refresh. You can see similar, it's changing on the fly. So I'm going to hit send a few times. And you can see that uh, after a few times, the request breaks because there is limitation on how many you can send. There you go. Great limit exceeded. So just be wary about it when you run this uh, query. Uh, make sure that uh, it, you are not limiting. Um, you are not limited the, because this thing will go on and on if you keep if your program keeps sending and sending and perpetually we will not get any data at all anyway um yeah i hope uh, this tutorial was helpful i uh, will also catch up with you on uh, part two of this tutorial on uh, sentiment using python all right you take care bye now